Hello crafters, welcome to G's Creations. I'm going to make a rustic kind of autumn wreath today with you. I'm going to use one of the bird nests that are stocked in my store. Now this is a 10 centimeter bird nest, which is about three, about three or four inches. I'm gonna use one of the moss covered wreath forms. I've got some faux um, acorns and some faux conkers. I have some pheasant feathers, which I may use. I have these faux moss covered rocks. I have my hot glue gun um, heating up and I may use some of the orange autumn wired ribbon that I stuck in my store. So I'm just gonna kind of lay it out and see where I want to place things. I want this kind of, this, um, what you call it? <laughs> this um, oh, nest to be the focal point. I'm just going to cut off the label. I want that to kind of be the, the focal point. So I'm just going to lay things out just to get a feel for where I want them. I may use all these items, I may not. Um, so I want some feathers in there too. But I want them, yeah, like that. So if I have that like that, I'm not going to glue anything down until I'm satisfied with the way it's looking. And a good thing about this wreath, I don't have to glue these feathers in. I can just poke them through the, um, poke them into the wreath itself. Don't want that one going there, I don't want that one coming out. So I'm going to just play around with these items. I'm just going to glue these things kind of willy nilly throughout. Then I have some um, faux autumn leaves, which I may also use as well. I'm just going to take them out of their packaging. I was thinking of just maybe hot gluing some of those maybe underneath. Okay, so I have a rough idea where I want everything. So I'm going to take everything out. to work with these first so I need that one to go there and then I can hot glue hot glue those two on there like that and then that one maybe and then that one there okay so I'm gonna hot glue this first so I'm just gonna pile this up with um with some hot glue and put it into place and then do the same with this uh, bird's nest. Just going to pile it up with hot glue. And then let it catch wherever it catches. strings once it's done. I'm going to cut these and I'm going to Maybe use one of the smaller ones. 
and take all these off and cut them all apart. Lift up that and pop it, pop it in like that. Take this one off and I'm going to put that one underneath as well. Said all these um, glue strings, and I can I can um, use my heat tool and get rid of. Can you still see if I do that? Yes, you can. Playing around with placement, really. I've really got into making wreaths this year. Well, since since late last year, actually, I find it very therapeutic. Right, these I'm going to tuck into the uh, wreath form, but behind all of this foliage, just so it pops out like that. And I think I'll have a second one down here. And then a third one, which I've dropped on the floor. And I think I'll have this third one. I think I'll have this third one going underneath this one. And put, put a leaf there. Okay, I'm just going to put some hot glue on the back of that leaf and pop it in. And let it catch wherever it catches. Then play, away, play around with these conkers and faux acorns. These conkers and acorns were, um, were bought on um, eBay as well. I don't know if I'll be able to get the link for you, but I will have a look because I bought these last year. Yes, I'm liking that. I think I might put um, a couple of these leaves sticking out here. Don't be afraid to lift and tuck things. Got this big lovely colour, this red one here. And I'll pop some glue on that. And pop it down the back there. My battery's flashing, so if it cuts off, I apologise. But I'll try and get it finished before um, before it cuts off. And I have a couple of um, butterflies which I was thinking of using. I think I might just stick that one just there, and I think I'm going to call that done. I don't think I'm going to add any of the ribbon. Uh, but I think I'm going to call that done. I'm wondering if I should pop in some faux eggs. Okay crafters, my battery ran out, but I did end up adding the um, the mini faux eggs and so I added some moss in places. So this is the finished wreath and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks really, really nice. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again very soon. Take care now.